second you corner. Connect. Creeping on the pigs. Howdy, thank you. Wow, they went all the way through. Mm -hmm. Cherry Blossoms this street. 239. Cherry Blossom Street, Portland, right? Portland? I mean, yeah. if I 747, make you turn around for the McLaughlin call. Where the fuck did they go? There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Central 1045, please. Got it. You got 908, it. if you're on this side, you can leave any. I'll let you know. Clear on this side. Okay, let's go up in there. There's. Hey, going fast. Come on, move. Like this. Boom, boom. So I said, what is that? I don't know what it was. I stopped. He did it again. All right, man. Went down. I was going to do it. He won't answer the door. I came back up before we called you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, I told him that when they called, I went back and wanted to get here. That's what's all came and back. And then I called. And then my wife called you guys. And she said, well, apartment 35. Five no, seven. she said 37. I mean, Babe, she didn't say 35. I wasn't wrong with But have you guys been talking to uh, the manager of the company? Oh, well, I was talking to the manager. Oxana mm -hmm. and Carla. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oxana is assistant, Carla is the head manager. Yeah. This is, we've been going through this because and my thing is this, we're going to help Talk to your neighbor. Stop like, calling the police and do that. Call us. Come talk to us. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out. All I'm saying is, you know, I feel real disrespected that you painted on my ceiling when you could just simply come up here and say, Stevie, so did you have? And the thing and that was so weird is that it was like a broomstick, like bang, bang, and then my husband went downstairs, and then as soon as he went downstairs, he went downstairs and knocked. He went answer the door or nothing. And then I came back up here, I'm like, well, what is, what is the issue? Mm -hmm. I is just completely understand what you're saying. I'm going to go downstairs and talk okay. to him right now. All right. So he you guys are all okay. Answer. He probably won't answer. Yep. Okay. Because they, think it's me because I, my, they our, won't answer. Like, our, 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 mm -hmm. our managers told us specifically, if you have any issues in the residence, before you call police or call us, yeah. don't try to worry about it. Now, Absolutely. I would have yeah. no problem if you told me that you're allowed and you keep it quiet. Of course. But I don't really feel what he has the right to tell me that when he's out every night. That's fair. So, which is, which, and I don't call nobody. Well, obviously, try yeah. to be a good neighbor, try to keep it down. If he's, you know, making too much noise, and he probably knock on the door. Probably, yeah, he's probably not answering the door, and I'm being serious. That's fair. We'll try to talk to him, but it doesn't appear to be a criminal issue, just a civil issue between you guys. Because so, when I called, she was like, well, somebody already called. I know the complex called. manager is telling you not to call him, but email him. She wants to communicate. What she wants well, is to just communicate. Like, would everybody, mm -hmm. if you got a problem, communicate. That's what she That's fair. I would, I would keep emailing them, letting them yeah, know, yeah, hey, cops came out on this night, this time, because this issue. Cops, every time now. it happens, keep it documented. Email, email the manager. I'll go see if I can uh, talk to him, see if we can come to a, a resolution. You know. Okay. What answer? And when you and Lock, he ain't gonna answer. That's fair. I mean, I, I can't make them open. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm being mm -hmm. honest. Because yeah. that's just kind of. Well, you said I don't understand the big problem. With them, he's your neighbor. You guys yeah. have experience. We've we lived here for, so. what, nine years? Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. So. Where, him being four, four, four residents, five different residents every year. Yeah. So. It was like, I don't have a problem with you coming to tell me we're loud, which was it when he did that. So that's why I was confused. If we're loud, they come knock. I'll tell you, I, I apologize. Quiet down. I think if I don't, then I deserve to be in trouble. Yeah. Well, that seems so, pretty fair. I'll talk to him real quick, get inside of the store, and then I'm going to head out of here. But like I said, email management and keep records of all your emails. All right, all right. Right. All right. Right. That's Thank understandable. You. I don't I don't hear any any loud noises come from your apartment. There's no music playing. So you guys have a good night.
What's happening? Hey, not much. What's going on? Oh, not much. You guys have a good night. You too. Uh, you too. Hey, we're out. Nobody answered downstairs. The upstairs people called the cops about the guy downstairs making a bunch of noise, pounding on their bottom of their floor. And he didn't answer the door, so we're out.